You have to educate your children on the world as it exists. You see, percents are a huge part. They play a huge part in you making money later in life. And if you don't know what percents are, then you're never gonna be able to make the money that you should. Or go onto the platforms that you should. We've got eBay, we've got Amazon, we have all of these different tools that you can go on and you can make money or sell things at an increased price from what you buy it at. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, percent increase. So I got the graphic organizer that's gonna help you out to figure out how to do this without the use of a calculator and to do it correctly. Not fast, but correct. Let's check it out with flipping sneakers. So let's grab an example, like a pair of Jordans that I have here, the cement black retro three Jordans. And the one change I'm gonna make is that I'm not gonna play this whole game where it looks like it's cheaper than it really is. These are $300 sneakers. So I'm changing that. Now, let's pretend that we were able to get these sneakers at, let's say $240. What I'm going to do on my graphic organizer down below, I teach my students that we're gonna mark these sneakers up. So we wanna draw our arrow. It gives us a visual in our mind of what it is that we're doing. We're starting with $240, and that $240 represents 100% of our money. So I fill that in. Now, we want to mark these things up. And let's say we want to mark them up to $300. That's fine, but we just don't know what percent we're marking it up. We know we're marking it up $60. We're adding on that much it's an increase in the price, so I usually write increase. If it was a decrease or a discount, I'd write decrease. But we're increasing our price by $60. What percent are we making on our money? That's what we want to find. So whatever our 100% is, the dollar amount that we have, that's going to go here in our starting amount. Now, I told you we can move place values really easily and get 10% and 1%. And when we write $240 out with the decimal place, it makes it very easy. Moving at one place value gets us our new number for 10%, which is $24. If I move that decimal one more place value, it gets us our new percent amount for 1%, which is $2.40. Now, from here, we've got to be able to multiply by 2 or divide by 2. I told you that from the beginning. If I want to go ahead and create 20%, all I need to do is multiply my existing 10% number by 2. 24 times 2 is going to give me $48. If I want to change it, half of 10% is 5%, so I cut 24 in half and boom, we've got 12. These are all going to be essential building blocks into finding out what it is that our percent increase actually will be. Let's do it the other way. If I wanted to go from 100% down to 50%, I just cut 240 in half, and that's a $120. If I want to go from 50 to 25, well, 25% is half of 50, so I cut 120 in half, and that's going to be $60. Now hold the phone. Notice I didn't do anything with 75%. I throw that in there because students can jump count. If we jump count by 25%, 25, 50, 75, 100, you can see from this big dark line here, I can jump count by whatever my 25% is to fill that box in. 60, 120, 180, and then 240, same thing as jump counting by six, just add the zeros on to the end. 6, 12, 18, 24, 60, 120, 180, 240. I have now found my percent increase. $60 was what I was looking for, and 25% is the markup.
There we go. We found it. We're selling them at 125% of our original cost. We're making 25% on our money. That's really good. That's $60 profit that you can take and go invest into another pair of sneakers and do it again. So let's do it again. I got one more. Instead of starting with the dollar amount that we paid and knowing the dollar amount that we want to sell the shoes for, let's do this one a little differently. Let's take this pair of Air Maxes that we've got and the original price you guys can see right here is $110. That again is 100% of our price. Let's say we don't know what we want to mark it up by, but somebody said, hey, mark them up 40%. So you sell them for 140% of the original cost. And you're like, all right, that's cool. I'm going to increase this, but we don't know what we're going to increase it by. I'm going to show you a couple things, and I'm also going to point out how to punch it into your calculator. And that is up here on this graphic organizer in the left-hand corner. You can see we don't use everything in the graphic organizer, but all of the pieces are there to help us if we need them. They're all just tools. So I'm going to put in my $110 as my starting amount, and I want to mark this thing up 40%, so I have to build 40%. The easiest way to get 40%, I know, is counting by 10% boxes. So to get 10%, I decrease my $110 by one place value, and that gives me $11. Now I can build 40% out of four 10% boxes. Here's where a little Singapore math comes into play if you want it to. This right here I know is 40%. Or how much money is that going to be? Well, if I take $11 and I place it in each of these boxes because I know that 10% represents $11 of my original price. All I got to do is add these numbers up and I get an answer of $44. My increase is $44, which means my ending price, what is the amount that I'm going to go ahead and list these for? Well, I have to add 110 and 44 together and that's going to give me $154. Now students all the time say, wait, Mr. Parks, I know a different way. And that's great, that's what we want. We want you to think differently. One of the different ways that I've seen and that students will come up to me and say is that they said, Mr. Parks, we can build 40% out of two 20% boxes. And I say, you're exactly right. We can do that. But I also say, do you know what 20% of the original price is? And they say, well, I took $11 and multiplied it by 2 and got $22. Each 20% box is $22, and it's going to give us the same result. 40% represents $44. And that's where our increased price comes in, right there. Guys, this is as real world as I can get showing you percent increase. And in a few short years, you're going to have the opportunity to get yourself online, to use whatever platform is out there at that time to sell your stuff. And it's real money.